I've always thought it was great and coming back to this tasteless version, I'm realizing that it's absolutely one of my favorites. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on this Tia Cream. Close to a stimulant, but it's technically not a stimulant. It acts on the caffeine receptors. This substance has a lot of unique properties that I haven't really found in very many other supplements or very many other stimulants, and it's very, very well balanced. And I think caffeine is one of the most consumed drugs in the world, and I even think this is much better and safer in almost every way. The only problem that I had before with Tia Cream was that it tasted very very bad probably one of the worst tasting supplements I've ever had I literally could not put it in a drink because it would ruin the drink and the aftertaste it was just it was unfortunate because the supplement is very very good I was having to basically capsule it but it does occur naturally in nature besides that it has almost every pro you could possibly think of and almost no cons so let's jump into the pros of the supplement the first pro is that it has anti-inflammatory properties which is pretty weird usually anti-inflammatory basically means it's gonna heal your body when you have any sort of disease disease or a cut or anything it becomes inflamed and when you have taken anti-inflammatory especially with all the stuff in our food and all the toxins in the air there's a certain amount of stuff you just can't avoid so taking something with anti-inflammatory properties is very good it's technically not a stimulant but i feel like it, it is in the stimulant category it gives you that stimulant feeling although it's much safer i've never encountered a stimulant that had anti-inflammatory properties similar to teacrine so that's really big normal caffeine and almost all stimulants in increase blood pressure and this does not increase blood pressure so technically I think that's what makes it not a stimulant that fact right there which is really nice if you wanted to wake up without an increase in blood pressure I would always prefer that so I think it's very good this one has about 90% less taste it's not a hundred percent tasteless but it's actually doable before it was so so bad I would say it's like 95% of the taste is removed I do like half scoops even when it's not even a full bottle of flavor and stuff I don't really taste it that much I have have tasted it on occasion but thankfully this is actually good enough to put in a drink you can put it in your pre-workout or any other mix you got going and it doesn't really taste bad thank goodness the whole tasteless aspect is actually going to get me to take this a lot more because I thought tea cream was one of the best supplements pretty much you could come across ever it just had that problem I couldn't put it in my drinks so I'd have to you know put it in a capsule and then I would basically just end up forgetting about it and not taking as much as I would want to so it has no jitters no crash and no anxiety now, I would say little to none if you took a bunch of this stuff I mean way more than you ever should you might have some anxiety you might have some crash but generally even like if you were to double dose this like take two scoops I still don't think you're gonna have much jitters much anxiety or much crash this is just an unbelievably smooth supplement it takes about two hours to hit its max peak and then I think it stays for about eight it's not something that you end up feeling tired later or you feel like a crash you get none of that, you get no jitters. Everything that's not so nice about caffeine gets fixed with teacrine. Lasts longer and is smoother than caffeine. So that's pretty much where the pros end. If I forgot one, I'll put it down below, but let's go to the cons. The cons is that I really don't have any cons to be honest with you guys. It's kind of situational. Before I would say the taste was the biggest con. The taste is kind of gone. I mean, even if you're somebody who doesn't want stimulants, this is technically like not a stimulant. If you take any other sort of stimulants, this will basically give you that awakening feeling without making you crave something else want something else it just works I really don't have much cons and it would be situational if you're somebody who doesn't want to take a stimulant under any circumstances well that's a con caffeine has a little bit of this blitzy up euphoria kind of feeling that comes but it, it comes really fast and it goes really fast I wouldn't say I get that up feeling that really spike of almost euphoria for longer than an hour it really kind of goes away fast tea cream you don't get that huge spike as much but it's actually really nice because I don't crave anything I don't want anything I just feel like I'm already up I'm already good to do stuff and it lasts a long time too so like I said you're not gonna be craving it four or five hours later you should be pretty good I'd be very interested to see if you've tried it and you didn't like it for some reason but for me I almost have no cons with this supplement I think it's very very good the tasteless aspect is just absolutely amazing I almost would want to recommend this to anybody you know anybody looking for any sort of boost even somebody who doesn't want caffeine or doesn't want coffee this is going to give you that awakening feeling it's going to be anti-inflammatory so it's going to basically heal you you're not going to have a crash you're not going to have anxiety it's just a fantastic supplement i can't recommend it enough i've always liked it i've always thought it was great and coming back to this tasteless version i'm 
realizing that it's absolutely one of my favorites. I might be taking it about midway through the day quite often to get rid of that caffeine crash and just take me to the end of the day nice and smooth, don't have to worry about anything. Pretty much all pros and no cons with this supplement, which is really crazy and really hard to wrap your head around, I understand. But again, if you've had some negative aspects, please leave them down below. I think almost everybody's gonna have a positive reaction to this. I would actually prefer this in most pre-workouts. I know it's probably gonna get a little expensive. I think this is about $35 online for 100 servings so that's actually pretty good it comes out to about 33 cents a serving it's a very exotic feeling and you could add it to anything you don't have to worry about the taste basically guys all pros no cons you know what i think about it i think it is very good but again let me know if you don't like something about it i'd be very interested to see down below everybody has their own experiences anyway so we're on the road to 25,000 subscribers and i couldn't do that any of you guys hope you guys are the best i'm having a great day out here hopefully having a great day at home see you on the next video peace